Okay, a lot of you have been asking or telling us that your hair is not getting straight. Okay, now before you flat iron, make sure your hair is 100% dry. It's detangled also. It does not have to be bone straight. If you are doing your own hair, make sure you do not have the door closed. If you do it in the bathroom, make sure the AC is on. You need ventilation. If you do not have ventilation, your hair will swell up as you go, okay? Now I showed you already the spray I put on the hair, which helps um, with humidity. You don't need a lot. This is the key to how to flat iron your hair. See how skinny her parting is? I don't care what size your hair strands are. I always do uh, less than a half, about, uh, about a half an inch. So yeah, about a half an inch or less, depending how thick the hair feels. She has medium texture hair, meaning this single hair strand is not too skinny and it's not too fat, it's right in the middle. So I'm doing like half an inch of a parting. And this is exactly how I do it. I detangle it with the TTO Share Gold Standard heat resistant comb. This will not melt. I put it right here at the roots and I detangle it. As I do that, I get my two piece fingers and I grip the roots. That's what I do. And then what I do, I slide down to where I feel a nice good grip. I take the TTO Shear Flat Iron, the gold standard. I'll put it, the plates between the scalp and the two fingers. I slide down a little bit with some more room. And I get to the roots. I kind of angle it upward. And I hit it. I may do it twice just because I'm used to that. And I slowly slide it down. I'm doing a chase method with the comb. Okay? Slowly down. The comb does not melt. And the hair is bone straight with one stroke. I'll do it again. A slim parting. This flat, the gold standard flat iron can grip any hair. For instance, let's take this small, tiny piece of hair right here. You see it? It can grip this excellent. So you know how good this grip is. See this? Look, it's gripping it. It's not sliding. See that good grip? One pass. Look at that. One grip. Okay, so this is how to do a good grip. Put that up because you want to do it over again. Half inch parting. This is too long. Also, make sure the hair is in between the plates. Can you close your ear down for me, please. You do not want the hair overlapping the plates. So make sure the hair is in between, like between the uh, D and probably the, the two Ds. D and D. So in between those, grip the roots, slide down a little bit, put the plates in between, make sure your hair is in the middle, not overlapping the plates so it won't snap, put the comb under, do the chase mat, and slowly go down. Okay. The reason why you want to do thin partings, you want the heat to distribute on all parts of the hair. If you do big partings, it will swell up because heat was not able to get all in in between the hair. Right? Right. <laughs> you see that one pass? This works on all types of hair. See that? Bone straight. Bone straight to keep my people. This will help you. And good luck.